Thank you for tuning in to the New Season Worship Center's weekly pre-recorded services. We know that you will be blessed as you open your hearts to receive the anointed word by our senior elder, Dr. D. Davis.
good to everyone in here. Father God, as I totally decreased even more than I've already had, Father God, as you increase and speak to your people. We thank you. We praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Let's give God a hand praise. One more time. I don't know about you, but I'm so I'm so glad to be here um, today. Today is March the fifth. Already, the first already gone already. March the fifth, and um, time is not waiting for no one. So that means. We're moving forward. Amen. I want to share a word with you that um, God has spoken to me about. And, and it relates to that song. <laughs> Amen. I was like, oh. <laughs> That's just like God. He knows what we are in need of. So, I'm going to say this. First of all, if you hear something that you agree with, when God speaks to your heart, I don't mind you shouting, waving your hand, throwing the towel if you got one, Doing your Holy Ghost dance, saying hallelujah, because where there is two or three gathered in his name, there I am there in the midst 
of them. So if you agree what God is saying on today, you have free range to do what God asks you to do. Some people shout, some people dance, some people say hallelujah, some people just, just you know, just be quiet, some people just wave their hands, some people don't say a mumbling word, some people just shed a tear, but at the end of the day, he gives us what we are in need of. So, my spoken word that God has gave me, who is this king of glory? Who is this king of glory? When I think about the goodness of Jesus and everything that he has done for you, done for us, done for me, and, and then my soul cries out, hallelujah. Because it's the highest praise, but because my soul is happy. I'm happy because someone saw fit to come into this world to come and see about me, to come and see about you, to come and rescue me, to come and rescue you, to come and take care of us, to come and give us peace. To come and give us joy. To come and give us the most ultimate love. His son. To give us happiness. A future. My soul cries out. Hallelujah. Because someone came to give me hope. Someone came to just not to harm me, but to continue to give me peace. Yes. So when I continue to think about who this someone is, I ask myself a question. Who is this someone? Who is this king of glory? As my soul think about this someone who would become my king and is coming not only to rescue me but to rescue the entire world so I ask who is this king of glory so what who actually is a king and who can become a king this is the definition king a male sovereign or monarch, a man who holds life, and usually by hereditary rights. Amen. The chief authority over a country and people. Yes. Initially, God or Christ. Amen. So, who is this king of glory? In Exodus, 15th chapter verses 1 through 3. Then Moses and the children of Israel sang this song to the Lord and spoke saying. I have several scriptures so you guys don't have to like keep up and write them down and then you look at them you know for, for yourself. Read them for yourself to encourage yourself. But in Exodus, it says, I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and its rider he has thrown into the sea. Uh -huh. uh, verse 2, the Lord is my strength and song, and he has become my salvation. He is my God, and I will praise him. My Father, God, and I will exalt him. Verse 3. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. This particular uh, scripture from Exodus is when Pharaoh, you know, chasing Israelites and they was in the wilderness 
And so because they was triumphing and they was going down, part of this scripture is talking about the soldiers and Pharaoh got tossed, drowned in the sea. So the Israelites also, they started singing. And they said, oh, for he has triumphed. This is a victory song right here. Uh, it says, the horse and his rider, he has thrown into the sea. That means the king opened up the Red Sea, departed it, so the rider could drown. He, he was thrown into it. So in verse 2 says, the Lord is my strength and song. So when you get a victory, you should automatically have a song in your heart. Last week, we were singing, victory is mine. I told Satan to get thee behind me. So when the sea was behind them and it departed, so therefore they had a song on their heart. And then verse 3 said, the Lord is his name. And his name is Jesus. So who is this king of glory? The Exodus story also is a song of Moses in a revelation of who the king of glory is. Then we're going to come to the word glory for great praise, honor, or distinction, adoring, adoration. Then we go down to praise or worshipful, thanksgiving. And we always say from glory to glory, glory to glory, magnificence. And then glory says the splendor of heaven. Glory, 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 glory. So who is this king of glory? In Romans chapter 6. Verse 4, and it's on, you know, it has verse 4 A and B, and I'm only going to say the A part. Romans 6 and 4. It reads, Therefore we were buried with him through baptism into death. So if we were buried with him through baptism into death, then who is this king of glory? That means we were buried with him through baptism into death. That means we are joint heirs. So, who is this king of glory? This king, the beauty of his spirit, the beauty of his holiness. Who is the king of glory? That every knee shall and will bow. And every tongue shall and will confess that this king will be king of all kings and lord of all lords. So who is this king of glory? The most precious blood of the lamb. Then Luke chapter 2 verse 7 I'm reminded that this king was born in Bethlehem, the town of David, and because there was no guest house, there was no Marriott Hotel, there was no Motel 6, there was no star, you know, the one we used to go over there, the Holiday Inn, the Poppy Fest, there, there's, there, there was no guest house. So because his mother, Mary, had to birth this baby king who becomes the king in uh, like a barn you know where they uh, do the uh, horses and have the uh, baby animals and whatever so they were in there but Mary wrapped this king in clothes and placed him in a manger and then Luke 2 and 12 says in the uh, English standard version, version about this it says, this will be a sign yes. to you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. Mm -hmm. So, who is this king of glory? Yes. I'm reminded of another story about this king. Luke 5 and 
verse 12. And it happened when he was in a certain city. Behold, a man who was full of leprosy saw Jesus. And he fell on his face and implored him, saying, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Thirteen. Then he put out his hand and touched him, saying, I am willing be cleansed. Immediately, the leprosy left him. Fourteen. And he charged him to tell no one. But Jesus said, but go and show yourself to the priest and make an offering for your cleansing as a testimony to them, just as Moses commanded. So, who is this king of glory? There's another story I'm reminded. Luke 7, 37. And behold, a woman in the city who was a sinner, when she knew that Jesus sat at the table in the Pharisee's house, brought a alabaster's flask of fragrant oil, 38, and stood at his feet with her tears and wiped them with the hair of her head. And she kissed his feet and anointed them with the fragrant oil. 39. Now when the Pharisees who had invited him saw this, he spoke to himself saying, this man, if he were a prophet, would know who and what manner of woman this is who is touching him. And for she is a Sinner. 40. And Jesus answered and said to them, Simon, I have something to say to you. So he said, Teacher, say it. 41. There was a certain creditor who had two debtors, old, one old, 500 denarii, and the other 50. And when they had nothing which to repay, he freely forgave them both. Tell me, therefore, which of them would love him more? This woman was a sinner. We all have sinned and come short to the glory of God. But as I stated, every knee is going to bow and every tongue is going to confess. This woman knew who Jesus was and her tears and her hair, she used her hair to anoint his feet. To anoint Jesus' feet, the king's feet. Could you just imagine we, we had foot washing and we were here washing each other's feet but it was a certain type of washing. It was the anointing of the Holy Ghost fulfilling the prophecy that the Lord is Lord and he is the king. So therefore you are giving him your utterance. You are saying hallelujah. You're saying thank you that this is my savior and my king. So it, it, you're, you're so excited. You just, you just want to wash his feet. And because you are anointing his feet and anointing his feet with oil and perfume, your sins are are forgiven. Amen. You have to remember something. This journey is not about you. It's about the feet of Jesus. 
So, who is this king of glory? Now, somebody in here, not no names, not Pacific, in this temple needed to hear that you might have sinned in the past or you might know someone who have sinned and you don't understand now that your sins their sins have been forgiven yes, thank you, Jesus. I think we need a hand praise on that your sins have been forgiven Jesus went on the, the king. He went on the cross and, and he came here just to save you and I. Your sin. The, the sin no more. And, and, and so now they have been made whole. It, it is because of their faith. And she, the anointed, the one that anointed Jesus, they, us, yes. bent down and we wet with our perfume, our anointed, our oil, the feet of the king. Yes, and then, they, you, you know this uh, mirth. Yes. That's the fragrance of the yes. oil, the mirth. Mm -hmm. it, it has a, a, a sweet um, Smell it just it smells anointed, and, and, and then when so it, I want to encourage you guys to get your own oil that's supposed to be in your house anyway. Amen. 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 And you need to anoint yourself daily, Amen. because we live in this world and it's twisted, turned upside down. And people don't know uh, people getting on social media and, and just doing what they're not supposed to do. I'm not going to say what and who. But at the end of the day, you have to anoint yourself yeah. daily. Yeah. When you leave your house, you just never know what you're going to run into. But you are already covered through the blood of Jesus. Yeah. But you need to sign, seal, and deliver it and anoint yourself every single day. That way, something happens. You know where you're going. Your faith. So, who is this king of glory? Don't forget, show love. Love is our trademark. Show love, you guys. I'm going to express show love. Show love. They used to have this song back in the day. Love is a many splendor thing. Love is a many splendor thing. And because God gave his only begotten son, he showed us just how much he loved us. Yes, yes. And he continually loved us each and every day. He gives us grace. He gives us mercy. He yes. gives us peace. Yes. He gives us love again. Then he and, and then sometimes we don't understand, but he understands us and he still gives us love. Yes. Uh, I, sometimes we turn from him and he still loves us. He sit at the seat right there and still love on us. Then we turn our back and he said, I'm going to just wait a little bit. And he still love. Well, I, they know I love him so I'm going to just wait on him a little bit. And he still pour out his love. Listen. Who is this king of glory? And the answer is to this is in the main scripture. Psalm 24 and we're going to start at verse 7. It reads, Lift up your heads, all you gates, 
and be lifted up, you everlasting doors. And the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. The Lord is mighty in your battles. The battle don't belong to you. That's why I said the Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Then it says lift up your heads all O ye gates. Lift up your everlasting doors and the king of glory shall come in. Amen. Verse 10. Who is this king of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory. So who is this king of glory? The Lord of lords. And the beginning and the end. The king. His name is above every name. The king is alpha and Omega. The king is bright and morning star. This king will turn your midnight into day. This king is our El Shaddai, God Almighty King. This king is our Jehovah Rapha, our healer. With his stripes, you are healed. I decree and declare today, March the 5th, divine healing in this place. We've been going through some things in here, but I decree and declare the healing has already taken place. The healing of salvation has taken place in this temple. In the name of Jesus, the king has spoken restoration has now been restored in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare continuous of restoration in this temple. In the name of Jesus. The King, King Jesus, my Jehovah Jireh, my provider, his ways don't change because he promised that he would never leave me nor forsake me. He supplies my every need and he always knows what I am in need of. Recording to his riches and his glory. And then the king said, ask and it shall be given unto you. And he shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. This king, Jehovah Shalom, the Lord of peace, transcends all your circumstances, all your troubles, all your heartaches, all your pain. All your circumstances with your family. All your pain and suffering with your children. Everything that you thought that wasn't right. That he is the one, the king, that turned turn it around and then make it. He said, who is this king? Strong and mighty. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. This king is... King Jesus. The, the, the other name, there is no other name but the name of Jesus. And then this king is my hope. My everlasting father. And my, my hope for tomorrow because he holds tomorrow. He holds the future. He holds everything in the palm of his hand. He is the king. And who is he? Jesus. This king the mighty king, the mighty warrior. It isn't it, it isn't it just awesome how somebody can fight your battles? But but at the end of the day, you trying to pick them back up. And, 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 and then you know you can't do nothing about it. Because the reason why you went to them in the first place is because you waited till the last minute to go to the king. Then you wanted to say, oh, wait a minute. I, I'm going to ask so-and-so, and I'm going to ask my mother. And that. I'll tell you, God is in control. That's why he sent his son in the first place. Yes, to save you, save me, and everyone that is lost. So who is this king of glory? Yes. The Lord 
strong and mighty because in your weakness, he is, he is strong. Yes. We get weak sometimes. Yes. Yes. We don't understand sometimes. Yes. We don't understand how people operate. We don't understand how people sometimes come to church and just do a performance. But I'm going to let you know. Don't perform for Jesus. Do all what you can for Christ. Because only what you do for Christ is going to last. If you get up here and you sit in and you think you're going to perform, God going to rip you, strip you from your gift. And then you, I, I'm a living witness. If you don't act right and be right and be in the house of God, you can't do it for too long. Because then God will remove you. He will take his hands off of you. Because that's what the king is. He wants you. He loves you. But he will chastise you as well. He will make corrections on you. And if you don't want to be corrected, then you disobey God. You have to learn how to love one another. You have to recognize who the real king is. This king of glory, strong and mighty. A way out of nowhere. Remember, the greatest commandment Jesus asked us is that we love one another. Thank you, Lord. Who is this king of glory? This king of glory is Jesus himself. Everything we just got through singing, that he is our provider, he's our way maker, he's our El Shaddai, he's our healer, he's our everything. And, and it's just so sweet when you keep saying yeah. his name. His name is Jesus, and he is our King of Glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Amen? Amen. Let's give God a hand for you. for listening and we hope you will tune in next week for a life-changing word from the new season worship center ministry fresh fire word and worship 